Hey, welcome. Uh, Dale here from the Firewood Hut. And uh, this morning I thought we'd do a little safety issue when operating a vertical uh, log splitter. Uh, this is my 17 VS. And there are three situations you can get yourself into uh, which can really uh, hurt your fingers, hurt your hands. The first one, obviously, is how you hold your round. You hold it by the side. Never let your fingers go over the top because of the obvious reason, okay? You don't want to lose a finger or more. So always hold it by the, by the side. Now, once it, sometimes uh, when I press on the pedal, this wedge will only go in about two or three inches and then it pops right apart. You know how this works, you know. Um, sometimes they can be really stringy. Sometimes they'll just snap right apart. So, which brings me to the next one. Sometimes you'll run into a round with a knot or some wiggly grain through it or whatever. But sometimes I'll be splitting and on a rare occasion, it'll take a piece and slam it up against the deck. Um, so you want to be keep a loose grip. Never use a uh, death grip on these, on these rounds. Just have a loose grip so if you do feel it, going you can just let it slide right out of your fingers out of your hands just let it slam um, adam from hometown acres uh, has an axis and he loaned it up to uh doug from one eye customs and doug built a nut gut guard um when sometimes you get around that you didn't buck up uh square it'll be on a slant and sometimes it can kick out on you um, it can happen pretty quick so he built this nut gut guard so it can't go into your gut or your privates so just be aware that uh, as the wedge is, wedge is going down through your round and you're splitting sometimes you can have a violent reaction so, so that's number two keep a loose grip and just be aware that these pieces can, can, can go on you like right fast uh, the third one is if your wedge goes in and a really gnarly piece of round and it gets stuck or just stalls out or what have you. I found that a force of habit, I want to get up here and like try to uh, re get it released. Uh, that's a bad idea. Um, you take, you, you get up here and you're trying to force it off the wedge and you take your foot off the pedal. You know, these are log strippers. This isn't just for strengths or whatever. This is to strip the wood off the wedge. Boy, George, if you don't, and I, I've never had this happen to me, but uh, I noticed a few times it gets stuck and I put my fingers up there and I thought, you know, this isn't a good situation uh, or practice to have. Uh, keep your fingers down here if it gets stuck uh, and let the, these things work for you uh, to release it off the wedge. So um, just those three things to be aware of. Um, another bonus uh, security or safety issue um, is I was watching Chris from in the wood yard and he had it's just a recent video um, he noticed that I guess he had some dirty ends here clumps of you know, dirt rock whatever but as soon as uh, he meant he, he mentioned that you know when he was splitting sometimes the wedge would hit that that Pump of dirt and fly up in his face. Um, but oh my, I've never had that happen to me, but uh, I can see that happening. Uh, and I wear glasses full time, so I consider that good enough. So um, just another thing to be aware of. It might be more prevalent during winter where you got snow and stuff on here and uh, I can really hold the debris on there. So um, just be aware of that. So yeah, I just wanted to bring those uh, safety concerns when operating a 17 VS or any vertical uh, log store for those uh, three situations uh, that could uh, really harm your, your fingers. Let's keep our fingers on our hands. So. Okay, thank you. Have a great day.